Viking. Across the vast northwest. Today we've got a special beer. It comes to us all the way from Austin, Texas. From Jester King, which is a fantastic brewery. We are really excited. Um, we had found out... There's a guy from Jester King that came up here and opened up a brewery. And it's called Garden Path Fermentation up in Burlington, Washington. That's right. And they don't sell coats there either. No, no coats. No factory. No coats, no factory. Uh, unless, unless you count the, the brewing part as a factory. But, you know, it's a... Uh, anyway, we were really excited. We went there. Neat little place. We have... What was it? Fentau? I don't know. Possibly. Um, I'm sorry. It's not spelled out on the side. Um... But uh, it looks like a beautiful Japanese uh, art on the bottle. Um, anyway, we're really excited. It is a barrel-aged sour made with peaches. It's re-fermented with peaches. Ooh, my bad. From Vogel Orchard in Fredericksburg, Texas. Texas. Fredericksburg, yeah. Texas. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Fredericksburg, Washington, but this is from Texas. And it clocks in at... Five and a half percent. Yeah. Since I guess since they're affi still affiliated with Jester King, they're able to actually bring some of their stuff up here. So we were able to buy this here, which is fantastic, even though it's like two hours away or whatever. Yeah, but still, really exciting for, I guess, a little bit of, in a way, a taste of home. So That's right. It's a heavy bottle cap. Oh, was it? <laughs> it was. That's why I was like, should I throw that at the camera? <laughs> Let's aim away from the camera lens. Well, it was interesting to see the stuff poof off the gingerbread house when yeah. you did it. <laughs> yeah. Most of it actually is settled on the bottom quite well. Nice. It's a nice test. Oh. Ooh, that smells, oh. smells fruity, but in a good way. That smells so peachy. And fermented and, and tower, sour and sour in that tangy. It almost makes my jaw ache just smelling it. Yeah. Um, it's actually making me salivate just smelling it. Well, let's see if we salivate when we taste it. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's funky. That's delicious. That's funky in a good way. That is so good. Yeah. That's, uh, that's wild. That, uh, that um... It's got that. It's got that bite from the wild yeast. Yeah. Um, it a wonderful, bright, dry finish. Uh, this is just enjoyable. This is mm. an excellent brew. It is a five, hands down. No questions asked. No debate. This is we, fantastic. We expected nothing more from Jester King. But yeah, I gotta say, knowing Jester King, I expected a five star item. This is this is amazing. I mean, it's almost. It's almost kind of a bummer that we have to chug this thing. However, we have to chug this thing in chugability. Okay, I'm stopping there. I'm stopping there not because it isn't chuggable. It's actually very chuggable for a sour, surprisingly. Uh, uh. I was stopping because I want to enjoy this more. <laughs> I should have done that, but... I went for the gold. Uh, it is very chuggable because it's not overly carbonated. Yeah. It's actually, I would say lightly carbonated. Well, kind of lightly carbonated, but it's still like, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it needs to be more carbonated. Like it's perfect where it's at, yeah. but it's like on the lower end. This is, so. everything about this screams balance. It is just, it's a piece of art. Yeah, it this really is. Straight is. up, this is a piece of art. This is delicious. You never let us down, Jester King. Thank you. Yeah, this is amazing. I, if you could find this, yeah, I, and, and admittedly, this is going to be a bit of a hard one to find because yeah. these guys are the epitome of craft beer. I mean, they're they're up, yeah. Mwah! <laughs> and I don't know how far outside of Texas they distribute, other than us uh, luckily than us, just stumbling upon them in Washington. Yeah, I guess a you know, but you can randomly only it, finding it here. Thankfully. You can only get it at um, in Washington. You can only get it at Garden Path. They don't. They're not selling it anywhere else. I think there's probably some distribution things. There must be some kind of legality to where they can bring it up there and sell it out of the brewery. But it's a I'm happy. There must be a partnership or something. I don't know, but I'm thrilled. Yeah. I'm tickled pink. Yay! I could still get Jester King in Washington. Ron, who is the main dude there. At Garden Path. At Garden Path, who came from Jester King, was so nice enough to actually show me the brew room where they have all their stuff. They have these ginormous barrels. And super nice dude. It was cool to shoot the shit with a you know an Austin, Texas dude. 
Um, so yeah, uh, if for some reason, Ron, you happen to stumble upon this video, thank you very much for your hospitality. We will be back. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brew Trek. Please like, share, subscribe, smack the like button. That's right. Give it a good heart. Just, just get it. Make sure to check out our social <laughs> media information. It is down in the description. And uh, watch more videos. Yeah. Thanks, folks.